I've been flowing for three minutes and I haven't done anything yet. Hey, what's up, you guys? Know how to start videos if you haven't been able to tell. Okay, so today I'm going to do an updated makeup routine, everyday makeup routine, because, you know, I haven't really filmed anything since the summertime. I tried filming a transformation video and it didn't go very well because I didn't have most of the footage. I just got my hair cut and I hung out with my friend. Maybe I'll put some of those clips in. Yes. That was big. That was like close enough. I don't want to talk about face. Transformation? I'm not hungry anymore. Oh, we enjoyed that. Um, so I'm gonna do my makeup routine. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good time. I've got some natural cloudy day lighting. My hair is straightened, giant scrunchie, and a giant t-shirt. What more could we ask for? Nothing. Okay. We're going to start off with... Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. It's a little sample size and it's really good. I think I'm going to buy a big size. I'm just going to hold I'm going to rub it all over her face. Oh. Might have to put a headband on. <laughs> okay, so once you've fallen over and put your primer on, go get a headband. Yep. <laughs> so this is the routine I do for school. Like this is how I do my makeup for school. And I can get it done pretty fast. I can usually, like if I'm really rushing, I can get my hair straightened and my makeup done. In like 20 minutes honestly it impresses me every time but so we're gonna take a little bit longer because we've got time got some time so this is my mirror hope it doesn't annoy you if it's right there we're gonna start out by doing our eyebrows this hasn't changed since I started my makeup it's the L'Oreal brow stylist definer and then I brush my eyebrows up, like so. And then I, then I just draw a line underneath. And my eyebrows are really give or take every single day. Like Friday, my eyebrows were so good. They might not turn out that good today. Then you're gonna brush your eyebrows just like, you know, just normal, just like this. You're gonna draw a line on the top. And like, this is just when I fill in the tail of my eyebrow and then shape it as well. And you do like this to fill in the front. And that's your eyebrow. And then you Take Glossier Boy Brow, which I'm kind of running out of. I might need to buy some more. You just and that's an eyebrow. I'm gonna see if I can do that like whoosh, whoosh thing. So, just a sec. This eyebrow we don't want to do. This eyebrow is shorter than this one. We all see this. Okay. 
Okay, it'll be better when we have actual makeup on. Let's hope, pray. What's the last video? This Spotify ad is wild. That's a little more appropriate. Okay, I'm just trying to listen to my summer tunes. I'm gonna see what the last video I posted is. Cause I know the last video I posted is a vlog type thing with my best friend of us literally being stupid. But like, what's the last like actual video I posted? Six months ago. August. A lot has hop happened. A lot has happened since August. A lot has happened since August. And I mean like a lot. Cause my last video was filmed in Oklahoma. And I don't live there anymore. Which is a little upsetting. So I moved somewhere. Not gonna tell you where. But moved from where I used to live. And it's upsetting. And so now I live here where I live. And I'm kind of thriving. You know, I'm doing good. Although tomorrow my school starts water polo. Not sure how ready I am for that. Okay. Okay. Now what I go and do is I use the Maybelline Instant Age on Concealer and I put it everywhere. And I mean everywhere. So now that you look insane. Take a beauty blender. This is the Morphe sponge. I sprayed it with Mario Badescu. And you blend it in, just like this. Now we're gonna contour with this Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. That's a different language. The soft contour side. Wait, do you see that? I go next. So now we're gonna take this IT Cosmetics brush. I've had for a long time. And we're gonna blend it up. You know that our contour is done, the room disease. Take Tarte Shape Tape. Now we're gonna take Cody Air. I just realized I didn't talk for that. Cody Air Spun Powder. And you know that. I'm gonna tap out. Any creases you may have, you know, as one does. You're gonna tap it in the powder and set that. Yeah, tap out any creases again, you know, as one does. And gonna set that. And then I'm gonna take the like pointed edge, straight edge, I guess, pointed straight edge. Probably too much powder, but it's fine. No. Now I'm gonna let it sit. This is also gonna be like a little bit extra because I'm not actually going anywhere and I wanna do that. You know what I should do? Probably go into the dishwasher because I have to totally go do that. You know what? BRB. That's what I'm gonna go do. Okay, I don't know if I've said that, said it yet, but I'm going to say it again. This is easily the longest I've ever let powder set on my face, so now I'm going to brush it off. So now we're going to take this brush from Love Techniques. And a teeny tiny hula bronzer. I said cool, I got hula bronzer now. You're gonna dip it in here. And bronze up your face. <laughs> and usually I like put it all down my neck so that my neck matches my face. Mr. Scandal. Um, yeah. And then with the same brush, I take my blush. It's Milani. Literally every single product is. 
new like i haven't used it before like the brushes are the same but the products are all new all right, so this is milani blush it's super good it's romantic rose and i love blush i have a set of i look so good in the camera and like the mirror is different i wish i looked like i did in the camera i think it like blurs your skin or something but i look good so i hope you guys are happy you're seeing that but i love blush so much i think blushing is so cute like i don't i don't know um like the thought of it is cute but like when it's actually happening you're like really like overheated and because this kid sat with me in one class one day and i have a kind of like a tiny little crush on him and my brain stopped functioning and like my face was all red like i was like really, really, really. i was like hmm. Take this Tarte highlighter in Sparkler on this Real Techniques brush. And I'm just gonna... And along with blush, I love highlight. Highlight in general. Highlight's the best part of your makeup routine. Let's be real. I told you my eyebrows would look better by the end of this. So now we're gonna do our eyes. And because I wanna be extra right now, I'm gonna put some eyeliner on. Love it. It's this Dila highlighter, not highlighter, eyeliner. Same thing. I'm gonna do some eyeliner. I don't do this for school. That's too much, but I want to do it right now. Okay, so it's not even, it doesn't look really good, except like the wing part looks good, but like that part doesn't look good. But it's okay, because I'm going to put fake eyelashes on. Also, don't do this every day, because I'm not the best at it. Like, I try to do it Friday. I like to take them off, and I take them off, like, in the car on the way to school. So I did my mascara on all day, and I felt I'm gonna do this way. I'm gonna do an inner corner highlight with this color, random color pop highlighter I have. So now I'm gonna spray my face, which I realized I should have done before I put on eyelashes and things. So I'm gonna take Urban Decay all nighter spray. I literally hate doing that. The uh, finishing touch is the lips, which usually I just like walk out of the house like this, but meh. Cause I could walk out of the house with this too, cause this is chapstick. So, here's the finished look. Hope you enjoyed see you in my next video because I want to be more active on YouTube because I like doing it so goodbye and I'm gonna try and make an outro let's try that right now with my aesthetic which is peaches so okay goodbye and stay peachy keen